Tomorrow, folks. So today we're talking about the Jews harp. The Jews harp is an ideophone instrument. What ideophones means is it's like the sort of instruments where the body itself vibrates. You know, unlike uh, chordophones, I mean string instruments where the strings vibrate, or aerophones where the wind column inside it vibrates. Ideophones are the sort of instruments where the body itself vibrates. You know, stuff like cymbals and there are so many other little symbols and little kids toys kids drums you know these are the things or even if you hit a chair or something that becomes an ideophone if you hit your own body you become an ideophone right so this is a type of ideophone jews harp where the body itself vibrates what happens here is like there's usually a small membrane or something like this one over here which vibrates when we do this and then when we put it in our mouth like the cavity of the mouth amplifies it acts as an amplifying body and ampli makes the sound bigger and we can also accentuate with our using our tongues using our, our whole vocal cavity right so I have four different types of it this first one mm, is probably the hardest to play this this one is called the Binayo. Okay. All right. Uh, this is from Nepal, and I actually cannot really play it nicely. I, I haven't learned how to play it. There, there was a thread connected to it, and I couldn't get anything done with the thread, so I just removed the thread, and I'm just using my fingers. This one is made of bamboo and it's kind of a little flimsy and it's it's actually supposed to be my ancestral an in instrument but I never learned how to play it and this is the weakest that I've got amongst the four that I have. The next one that I'd like to show you is this one. It's called Gogona and it's from Assam. This one is also made of bamboo and it's just a little bit stronger than the Binayo. The third one that I'd like to show you is probably the most popular one, at least here in India. And this one is, uh, this one is actually a morchang, and but it's very similar to something called marchunga from Nepal. But this one is from Gujarat, and it's called morchang. But marchunga is almost exactly the same. Maybe they vary in sizes, but it's exactly the same thing. So this one is made of metal. It's I think I guess it's iron, and this one has a much louder sound than the bamboo ones. This was the Marchunga. And finally is my favorite one, the one that I was playing at the beginning. This one is called Dan Moi and this one is from Vietnam and it has definitely a much much louder sound than all the others and this one is I guess made from brass or copper, so some kind of alloy I guess. 
and it's mu- it's much more expressive you you can vocalize it a lot more and play around with the sounds a lot more So what usually is done is like, except for the merchant guard, the other three, these three are kept on your lips and you can, I guess you can see they look kind of similar even though they're made of different materials, but uh, you keep them on your lips and then let the vibrating part vibrate inside your mouth. Whereas with the merchant guard, uh, you keep it on your teeth like this, N- not on your lips as the others. And then after you get the sound going, you can use you can make vowel sounds like a e i o u, and you can I think that's a pretty good place to start. You can play around a lot with just the vowel sounds. And you can mix them up. Next thing you can do with it is play around with your tongue and you can make sounds like this. What I'm just doing is I'm just doing la 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 And then the next thing that will probably get the best sound out of the loudest sound will be when you breathe. So when you breathe out, you get the sound. And when you breathe in, you get kind of a swooping sound like. You mix them, you get. So if you can breathe in, breathe in and out very fast, you can do like, this is the sound you get. Sort of like a guitar tremolo, tremolo effect. And then all, after you've learned all that, like you can play around with like normal musical stuff like divisions, you know, like you can play quadruplets and triplets, like mix them up like this. So this is the juice art. I hope you can get your hands on one yourself and play around with this. See you all folks.